also a meta point pathology, and we're looking at that correlation, correlation to the coronavirus. So general information, COVID-19, obviously, from a global health standpoint, will go down as one of the worst medical events that we've ever experienced. And looking at biological and cultural adaption, the global south was struck in one of the worst ways, especially considering longer lasting impacts than what we saw more in, our, uh, in North America and more urban countries like that. Countries including Brazil, Mexico, Sudan, and many more were crippled and experienced issues as a result of COVID still today. And that was due to the weak healthcare systems and resource access in these countries. And we can see much worse uh, management and treatment of the pandemic because of that. Medical anthropology, all right, looking at social, cultural, biological, and linguistic factors of anthropology, which influence the health and well-being of individuals, offers great perspective on COVID-19's impact on less developed and under-resourced countries and communities. Southern experiences of the pandemic are much less responsive to biomedical solutions, so basically what we're looking at there is that the, the worst crucial pandemic efforts, such as access to vaccines, healthcare locations and sites, equipment such as masks, cleaning supplies, ventilators, and testing for those healthcare locations. Critical medical anthropology emphasizes that uh, the neoliberal economic system continues to pattern the pandemic's efforts, so that's considering trade-related aspects of intellectual property rights of vaccines and unequal distribution, distribution of, morale, of morale, mortality within and between nations. So that's still just looking at the difference of the resources between the countries. So there are many reasons for Southern countries' issues that were faced throughout the pandemic, but the most definite one was their lack of stability in healthcare, in healthcare and situations like these. Due to greater burdens and history of long-lasting non-communicable diseases, while dealing with COVID-19 also caused a big issue to this, because Southern countries were still bad battling things like high levels of Ebola, HIV, AIDS, and other things like that. So essentially these countries already were at a disadvantage with their lack of resources and what they were prepared with COVID, but now they're dealing with all these other diseases, making it, a much worse, uh, making it much worse for them. Also, we have to look at things like poverty, depletion, abuse of natural resources. Those, uh, those are also really common in those areas. And that's something called the north-south gap that we're looking at, and that's the difference of resources through and through. Um, also lack of foreign relations through the Euro European, European Union. The EU does have growing interest on helping these guys out, but still that's also looking at their, uh, their resources and what they're, what they're able to do when something like COVID happens to them. And you're just looking at historically higher rates of cases, deaths, and longer lasting impacts because of the lack of resources. Uh, due to, and this is kind of like my statement here, due to noticeably lower, lower sustainability and strength in healthcare, for globally southern locations, we can see much worse results and management in relationship to, to the pandemic efforts. Because these countries have different cultures than ours and different ge geographical locations, they struggle to have the same amount of relief for pandemics and large world health issues. Medical anthropologists see this issue, issue and realize that we need to find a way to balance healthcare around the world for all types of people from diverse cultures to ensure that if large if large world health issues erupt, everyone is on the same page with relief, with relief and productive efforts. And then, uh, yeah.